Someone sent me an image on Instagram and said, show a little creativity in this. So I also, with the help of a free and unlimited AI tool, in just one click, first removed all the watermarks from that image. Then, since the image was a bit black and white, I just filled colors into it, in one click. And even after coloring, there was still a bit of flaw in the image, so I removed all the people from the background of that image, again, in just one click. Then after that, I changed the background of the image, hi xiao wai kawaii, in one click. And it's not like this AI tool only removes things. We can also add anything to the image with its help, like I made both these characters wear warm clothes. And now, in the next image, I removed only one of the two characters. Ha 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 I did all this using just one AI tool in AI shape, whose name is Flux. One context. Till today, whatever image generator tools you've seen, this is better and faster than all of them. With this, you can do everything you can imagine, like coloring a manga exactly in that same style, changing any text, like changing September to August, that too in the same font, making a character's model sheet, which includes front, back, and side view, applying a bald effect to any image, changing any image into Simpson style or cartoon style, even taking any celebrity's photo and modifying them in any way. This tool is free, but not unlimited. So I'll also tell you how you can use this tool for unlimited time. And I have given this channel to the winners of three out of my five channels. And out of the remaining two channels, I will announce the winner of one channel in this video itself. But before that, we will edit some images and see what this AI image generator, or image editor, can actually do. So when you create an account on this platform, you will have to come to this page. How to create an account on this platform and how to generate images. I will explain all that later, so there's nothing to worry about here. To edit an image, we will upload the image here and paste the prompt here. And as soon as we click on run, the image generation will start. It takes around 30 seconds to edit one image. So first, we upload an image in which there is a girl and behind her, a lot of people are standing. So we will remove all the people from the background behind her. For that, we will write here, remove people from background. In this image, remove everyone in the background. Okay, so it has removed all the people from the background so well. Except the girl, it has removed everyone. So this was a small task that any AI tool can do. Now, we will go one level up. For that, we will upload a black and white photo with lots of scratches. And we will write, restore and color a black and white photo. In this image, remove cracks and scratches and colorize it. And now, it has also fixed this image so well. All the scratches are gone and it has colored it so nicely. And the best part is that it has kept the characters look consistent. Didn't mess with it at all. Now that we're talking about color, we will take this to an extreme level. I will upload a manga photo and to color this manga photo, I will write colorize manga. In this image, turn the manga into full color. So here you can see how well it has colored it. And along with coloring, it has taken great care of the text. Didn't mess with the text at all. If we do the same with any other tool, then the text or something else usually gets distorted. But here, it has kept everything exactly the same, only colored it. All right, now that we're talking about Satya, we will now upload a cover page and change its text. For that, we will write in the same font in this image, change the word winter to August. Keep font and size same. And as soon as we click on run, a kind of warning will pop up, which we cannot cut by clicking here because if we cut it, an error will appear while editing the image, and our image won't be edited. We should not cut it. Now, this AI tool has edited our text in exactly the same size and same font, without changing anything at all. The special thing about it is, it only does exactly what we write in the prompt. Now let's take this one level further, for which we will upload this photo, and tell it to convert this photo into anime style. And click on Run. It has started the process, and now it has converted this quite nicely into anime style. Now we will tell it to convert it into Disney Pixar style. So now it has converted it very nicely into Disney style. But now, we'll give it an even harder task. We will tell it to convert this into pixel style. So now, let's see whether it can do this or not. And it has now converted this image from picture to pixel style as well. It edits the image really well. So now we will tell it to convert it to Simpsons style. For that, we will write convert to Simpsons style. In this image, convert it to Simpsons style. And it has converted this image very nicely into Simpsons style. Seeing this, no one can even say that this is a real human. Now we will tell it to convert it into South Park animated cartoon style. And after writing the prompt, we will click on run. After a while, it has converted that image very well into South Park style. 
and it has edited this very well. This truly works extremely well. Now we will see how this tool can change the clothes of a tractor driver. So we will upload this image and tell it to remove the glasses from all these people's faces and add a scarf around each of their necks. Okay, son. So it has done a very good job. But the glasses on one man's face have not been removed. Maybe it didn't detect him, Japan. But it has added a scarf around his neck. I think it didn't detect the glasses on his face. So we'll give it one more prompt. Dress all these people in black coat and pants, okay? So it has done a really good job. It has dressed all the people in black coat, pants, and shoes. Now we will upload a photo of Chris Hemsworth and give the prompt to make him completely bald. And it has made him bald in such a great way. Now let's once again try turning him into Simpson style to see if the website is still working properly. Okay, so it has done a really good job. The background behind was slightly blurred and it has enhanced that too. Now it looks properly visible. Now we will do an even harder task. I have a screenshot of BGMI and we will try removing the UI from it. For that, we will write, remove the game UI elements. So it has done a really good job. It has removed each and every element very precisely. All the buttons in the map are gone. Now I have an image with a lot of copyright watermarks. So we will upload this image and say, remove all copyright watermarks from this image. So it has passed all the stages till now very well. So now I have an, another image in which Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are together. I will upload this image and show both of them drinking coffee at a restaurant. As soon as I write the prompt and click on run, it starts generating. And after a short while, it gives us an amazing image in which both characters look exactly the same. No differences at all. We can make them look however we want in this. Now we will make it even harder. I had an image of a glass, which I merged with this. Now we'll upload this and say, the design on the glass should appear on the girl's hand. After waiting a little while, it generated the image and transferred the design from the glass onto the girl's hand really well. Now we will upload a photo of a lion, which is standing a bit far. We will write, in this lion image, zoom in and sharpen the details. Now let's see if it enhances the details properly. So now the image is edited and ready, and the lion's details are beautifully enhanced. This is truly a really good tool, and it has also created a great background copy. With this, we can enhance even the worst kind of photo. We have a photo of Doraemon, so we will turn it realistic. For this, we will write, turn this cartoon photo into realistic, and it has understood all the details really well and made them realistic. Nobita is also wearing lipstick. Quite nicely. Let's make one more image. So, we have a photo of Tom and Jerry. We will upload that too and give this prompt. Make Tom and Jerry look realistic. In this image, turn Tom and Jerry into realistic animals. So, it has generated a highly realistic image. Now we have one final test left. We will upload a character and generate its back, side, and front view. For that, after uploading the photo, we will write, Create front side back view of a character. In this image, generate a model sheet, front, side, and back views. Okay, so it has designed all three sides of that model very well. You can use this for anything and for editing any type of image. Now we will see how you can create an account on this platform. Creating an account on this is very easy. So you will get the official link in the description. As soon as you click on it, you will come here, then click on the three lines and you will get the option to sign up. We will click on it, then click on begin. Next, you will get a human verification option. Here, you can get anything, like, I got curtains to select, so I quickly move ahead. Now there will be an option to enter an email. You can watch this video of mine and create 10 to 12,000 temp mails by yourself. After that, we will use a temp mail to create an account. So, I already have many temp mails. I will copy one of them and paste it here, in the password field below. We will also paste the same email, but we will capitalize the first letter. Now, we will click next. Now we have to enter our username and surname. So here, I will enter any detail and click this box and click on create account. Now, if we received a verification link on that Gmail, which we uploaded here, if you don't know where the link came, then you can watch this video of mine in which I have explained the whole process from creating an email to verifying it. We have received a link like this. Clicking on it will verify our account. Now, our account is completely created. After that, we will click on the three lines. Here you will get an option called Spaces. We will click on it. Right there, Habaida. You will find that AI tool Flux Part 1. Context. We will click on it. If you don't find it, you are done. You can search and get it too. Now you can do editing here. Let me also tell you how to use it unlimitedly. Actually, this tool does not work on credits. 
If you look above, you will see it's running with a free GPU. GPU means Hugging Face's own GPU, which you can also purchase. They also give it on rent. But this tool gives you their GPU free for five minutes daily. So from one account, you can edit and export as many images as you want in five minutes. And when your five minute time ends, you will click on the three lines, click on sign out, and you will come back to the same page from where you signed in. Now from here, you can create another account. And in this way, you can use it for unlimited time for free. Now let's talk about the giveaway. For that, I will copy the link of this video of mine where many people have commented. I will go to the YouTube comment picker website and paste it. After clicking here and clicking on continue, it will detect how many people have subscribed to my channel and commented for the giveaway. Now, I will click on pick a winner. So, this is the one who has won this channel. Congratulations! Contact me on my Instagram where I will give you all the details. And if you want to know about the previous channel winners, I have given the details on Telegram. You can check from there. Now, I have one channel left, which I will also give away. So, for that also, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a lovely comment. And if you want to know about Tempmail, then you can watch this video of mine. And if you want to know about my other five channels, then you can watch this video. I'll see you there. Bye.